All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. And in today's episode, we're going to get it on with the Cloister of Trials. And we're going to get the next Aeon, too. The faith is below. Let's do it. The faith? But first, the Cloister of Trials. Kamari, Waka, ready? Strength, everyone. No! Nah! Hey, what gives? You're not a guardian yet. Um, we'll be back as soon as we can, okay? Oh, sure. Soon. Like, tomorrow soon, I bet. <laughs> and actually, while we're standing here waiting, let me, um... Let me, um... Let me go into the configuration here, and let's see. Sorry, I got this strange notification that just showed up on my laptop that like a two hour timer just started. That was really weird. I don't know what the hell that was about. Anyway. Uh, let's see, map on, vibration on, uh, okay, so we're gonna change this to the short animations, and we'll change the cursor to memory. That's been bothering me a little bit, and I'm glad to have that back. And I guess now the elevator's coming back up, I think? We should have been able to go out here, I thought. Oh my god, I see what the problem is. <laughs> oh god, it all makes sense. I have my pl my PlayStation 4 controller connected Where's Yuna? to the laptop, and it's controlling my mouse. Then why are you because I'm here? charging it. Alright, hey, hold on. Guardian, so that has to get unplugged. To in, right? Hmm, not a guardian, you say? Hey, wait! Ah! Let me go! Go! Hey! What's a big Asshole. idea? Just a little game. Huh? This is bad. Really bad. Hmm. <laughs> you said it. Uh, hold on, let me get back over to the mic here. Alright, sorry about that. I went and plugged my charging cable back into the PS4, which is all the way across the room. Well, we don't really have any other options, so we'll just go inside. Only guardians allowed. And I'm sure no guardian. Well, I guess it's too late now. Alright. Another cloister of trials here. This one. I'm not a huge fan of. I mean, I'm not really a fan of these puzzles anyway, just because they're a little bit repetitive and a little bit monotonous, but, which I guess are kind of the same word. <laughs> anyway, um, this one's kind of straightforward though. So the Kilika Sphere, it causes things to burn, so we'll go ahead and drop the Kilika Sphere inside of this port here, and it'll burn the door down. The trick is, it'll leave things on fire, so we have to make sure that we take it out. Just like that. So, just like that. So, now we've got three different ports here. I actually can't remember which one we drop it into. I'm kind of doing this on the fly. I didn't look at any kind of instructions. Oh, look at that. I'm glad we did that, though, because now we have a glyph. So we'll go ahead and take the Kilka Sphere out. I guess we can just drop it in here. Okay. And now we should be able to grab the Glyph Sphere and drop it into the Glyph Sphere. No. Drop it into the Glyph Sphere spot right here. The Glyph Sphere repels me. Really? Wait, I'm confused. The Glyph Sphere repelled me. I'm confused. Well then. 
I might actually have to look at a guide. <laughs> Why would it repel me? Oh, wait a minute. I know why. Because now I can just touch it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's been so long since I've played this game that I've kind of forgotten how it works. Now, oops. I think that we need this. And I'm trying to remember how, the, how we need to get the destruction sphere. We can't go down here of the fire. So I think we're going to have to actually drop this thing back off in here. And then we'll have to... I don't know if we actually need to take this thing in here or not. But I'm going to go ahead and start moving it into this... Oop. Moving it into this room. Maybe. Come on. Come on. Hey, there we go. Okay. There we go. Gosh. <laughs> Took forever. This is also one of the more impractical puzzles in the game. Like, that door that we had to burn down, and then there's another one up there that we have to burn down at some point, too. Like, it just is a little strange. Now, I don't know what that's actually going to do. And I don't know if we need to put the glyph sphere, like, in there, or... Or what exactly we need to do, but <clears throat> we'll give it a shot actually. What happens if we drop this thing in here? Oh, that actually that actually did exactly what I needed it to do. How funny. I didn't think that was gonna work. Oh, and there's the destruction sphere. Oh, I think I remember how this works. I think that we have to drop the destruction sphere inside of here. And then I think we push this onto this mechanic over here. Like this little glowing or shining thing, whatever it is. Oh, no, come on. Hmm. No, that didn't work. Maybe we need one of these fire? Uh, uh. It's been so long since I've done this. Man, I cannot remember what I'm supposed to do. And here's the thing, like, we really need to get through this cloister, do them multiple times, as it turns out. So if we don't end up getting this destruction sphere, that's not necessarily the end of the world, but I would prefer to get it the first time around. Maybe this will work. Oh, that worked. Okay. Ah, ha, ha. Ah, I, okay, it's all coming back to me now. We need to take this one out. And we can actually just plop this one in the door, but we're not going to leave just yet. And now we should be able to grab the destruction sphere and drop it in there. Whole episode, no, whole episode dedicated to the stupid puzzle. I'm, I'm just not a fan of the cloister and trials. I think they're just butt ugly and stupid, and I think there's better ways they could have done this. Anyway, though, we did manage to get the thing we were looking for, which is the red armlet. I think that's something for Kimari. Fire ward, ice ward, lightning ward. That's a pretty good piece of equipment. And finally, if we take this red sphere, red sphere, <laughs> Kilika sphere out, we have finished the Cloister of Trials. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It was Donna and that big muscle head man. Muscle head you man? You now will be the one to suffer the consequences. Uh, what consequences? She could be excommunicated. That would be bad. The chamber beyond is a sacred place. Only summoners may enter. What? Even guardians can't go? It's taboo. Oh. Just wait. 
So what's in there anyway? The Faith, remember? Oh yeah, that thing, right. The Faith are people who gave their lives to battle sin. Yevon took their souls, willingly given from their still living bodies. Huh? Now, they live forever, trapped in statues. But when a summoner beckons, the souls of the Faith emerge once again. That's what we call an Aeon. All that in this room? So, so what's Yuna doing in there? She prays with all her heart for a way to defeat Sin. <gasps> uh, of course, Kamari. And there's actually nothing else that we can really do in this room besides, like, just talk to these two, and they just basically repeat the same thing. So if we try to leave, that actually causes it to activate. There was something I didn't tell anyone else that day. That song we heard there, in the temple, I knew it from my childhood. It was proof that Spira and Xanarkin were connected, somehow. At least to me it was. Maybe that's why suddenly, I felt like I just wanted to go home. I tried to say something to tell them, but the words wouldn't come. And now we have Ifrit, although, of course, I'm not going to call him Ifrit. This one is going to be named after one of my favorite video game characters of all time. And I think that this Aeon fits his character really well. His name is Kratos. Now, if you don't know who Kratos is, he is the um, not canon <laughs> to, like, real mythology, but... Um, he is the god of war who killed the original god of war, Ares, and he's also Zeus's son. And he's a very angry person, and I think that Ifrit kind of fits his demeanor really, really well. I thought I had put my feelings for Xanarkin behind me. But they were there, and they grew inside me bigger and bigger, till I was just about ready to burst. Are... are you okay? I... I don't know. What do you want to do? To scream real loud? <laughs> <laughs> the classic scream. And now we just kind of have to go back on our merry way. There's actually not a whole lot that we have left to do in this area. Except fight random battles. Ow, <sighs> and I'm not healed either. Alright, well that's fun. <laughs> I like how Waka's trying to act all tough. You called. It's ridiculous. Um, I guess we'll just attack. I, I, I could have healed somebody, but... And I should have let her finish that. Oh well, that was dumb. Um, let's go ahead and do water. Like I said, the, the, the enemy variety at this stage in the game is so low and just not that interesting that, frankly, the, the, these early fights just are boring. They, they just have no reason to really... Except for, like, you know, the, the bare minimum, like, okay, we'll, we'll get through this fight 
and that's all we'll do. <sighs> this is a good opportunity for me to show you the flea command, actually. Oh, wow, okay. So that can happen, so your enemies can, or your uh, teammates can get the stone, um, what is that? I guess stone affliction. But anyway, if you uh, hit flee, I won't go so easy on you next time. You can get out of the fight. You don't earn any AP. You don't get any items or anything like that. But that's a nice little touch. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and call it quits. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy X. Catch you guys next time.